These are the steps for removing a hard drive from the IBM ThinkPad 2611 series. Begin by removing this cover. You take a straight edge screwdriver and there are two slots here and here. Simply insert a straight edge screwdriver into the slot and pull up. There are two screws holding the keyboard in place. Here and here. Simply take a Phillips screwdriver and remove them. Now also holding the keyboard in place is a small tab up here. Simply take a straight edge screwdriver, pull it outwards. Now lift the keyboard up and slide it forward and out. Next, we need to disconnect these two cables in order to remove this metal shield. Simply pull the tab locking the cables in place outwards, then disconnect the cable. Now there are six screws holding a metal shield in place. Three of them here, two here, and then there's one down here. These are all Phillips head screws and simply use a Phillips screwdriver to remove them. Once the screws are loosened, the metal shield can then be pulled upwards. Then, because there is a tab on the side of the shield that fits into this slot, you'll need to slide it outwards. Now the hard drive is mounted in a chassis, which in turn is connected to the logic board here. Simply pull this outwards, being sure to wiggle it back and forth to easily loosen it. And then remove it. The hard drive is mounted to the chassis by four screws, here, 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 and here. Upon removing the screws, you can remove the hard drive by disconnecting it from this connector. Now at this point the hard drive has been removed and the computer itself can be reassembled. Begin by reinstalling the metal shield. Simply slide this tab at the end into this slot. Then reinsert the screws into these holes and screw them back in place.
next the keyboard can be reconnected. Now simply slide the cable into the slot in the connector and press the tab inwards. Now to reconnect this cable, you slide this tab upwards. You insert the cable into this slot. And press the tab downwards. Then lock it in place by pressing it inwards. Now the keyboard can be reinstalled. You simply move it upwards and there's a tab here. You slide it into this slot then lay the keyboard down. Now there are tabs up in this area here which you also slide in place into the appropriate slots. And the same over here. Now press the keyboard down in place. Place the screws back in place. And screw them back in place. Now to place this cover back in place, simply place this downwards in place and press it down. And that's it.